And hello again, everybody, with Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon here in the booth. And, Chuck, you take a look at this matchup. I don't know if it's going to be one in the trenches from the quarterbacks out, whatever. It's going to be a good game. Oh, without a doubt. I can't wait to see the big fellas have an impact. We're always spotlighting those wide receivers and quarterbacks and running backs and even the defensive backs. But the big guys, I can't wait to see which one tilts the balance for their team. Set to go now on a beautiful sunny afternoon. And we are underway from Santa Clara. Set to return, this is Brandon Cooks. And nice work on the return as they'll start their drive just past the 30-yard line. up only to about the 33. Two yards on the carry there. It'll be second down. Looking for some running room, and there wasn't a whole lot of it there on that play. I think he was lucky to get a couple of yards out of it because those defenders, they were rallying to the football pretty quickly. See if they stay on the ground for second down. Cousins. Got his man, it's Eifert. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. That one good for 15, and the Bengals get a first down. His position, and he's listed as a tight end, but he certainly doesn't run like one, and that's what we're seeing more and more coming into the league. Those guys who can run, make plays after the catch, and gain that additional yardage. And using that speed there to turn it into a pretty nice little gain. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Here's Cousins. And nearly picked off there, almost intercepted. Instead, second down. Well, he did almost everything right. Excellent coverage, breaks on the football, just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it. Just move on to the next play. And he's going to be sacked. They sack him back right at the midfield strike. He didn't get rid of the football there, took the sack. Although that's easier said than done. He can't just chuck the thing sideways into the seats. No, he really can't because you're not afforded total protection as a quarterback. You have to get outside of the tackle boxes as defined by the NFL, meaning wherever your tackles operate normally, get outside of that. And the ball that you throw has to get back to at least the line of scrimmage. Otherwise, you're facing intentional grounding call. A good pick up there of 22. I know from past experience, before you actually play a game, you visualize what's going to happen. And I don't know anyone who doesn't visualize themselves being in the center of what's going on. That's three catches for him here in the early going. He's got to like the way this is started. Absolutely. Three catches on any drive is good. Opening drive, that's a tone setter. 23 yards on the play. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit him, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Oh, how about this on first and goal? And he is in. Touchdown, Bengals. Sammy Watkins taking it in from four yards out. And the Bengals take it right down and score on the opening drive. And he puts it through. No 
Toe back out now to kick this one away. This is taken at the three. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. Burger on first down. And his first pass is incomplete. This team is not going to make it easy for you. They're a physical group, and we just saw it there on that play. It came in, made the contact, just as he's trying to haul it in. carry the ball game now. It's C.J. Anderson. And they're able to get this one across the 35. They pick up 12 on the play there, and they move the chains. So right now what I'm seeing, I'm seeing that offense is just firing off the ball a lot quicker than they can react. And not only that, they're sustaining the blocks, too. I'm seeing guys get six, seven yards downfield before there's even a hint of contact. Here's Roethlisberger. Escaping the pressure right. And he will fight his man for the first time, Demarius Thomas. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. Another nice gain, 13 yards that time, and another first down. Now a play fake here on first down. Steps away. And break, the tight end's got it. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Nice play call. A little bit of play action right there. If you can get those linebackers to freeze for just a split second, that's usually all the room you need in order to get it to your tight end. Inside the 40 to the 39. Give him three yards and a fresh set of downs. Second and two is prime time for a little bit of a gamble, isn't it? Open up the playbook. Go play action. Toss that bad boy deep. But in this situation, go ahead and give it to your back. Let him pick up a first down. Keep the sticks moving. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. Second down, here's Roethlisberger. And there is Amari Cooper, his first catch. Touchdown, Cowboys! Amari Cooper, 41 yards! And the Cowboys are an extra point away from tying the football game. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. So a tie ball game here as the kick's away. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. Now the Cincinnati offense ready to see what they can do here. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline. Because when you score a touchdown, you have to go up and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points... It's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. So the offense readies for a second and four. Again, it's Miller. And this play will be blown up. He'll lose yardage back at the 38. It'll be a loss of one, and that'll make it third down. Well, add that play to his resume reel because he went to the Pro Bowl last year. That's how you go to the Pro Bowl. You make plays like that, big-time penetration, and throw people for losses. from the gun on third. He's going to leave this for his running back. It's complete. 
And that play is blown up, losing yardage back at the 35. He loses four, and it brings up four. So on fourth down, as seen on TV, here's their resident strongman, John Ryan, on to punt. Back deep, Patrick Peterson. Taken in at the 22. There he goes, right side. And he will score. Touchdown, Cowboys. Patrick Peterson, 78 yards. And the Cowboys have taken the lead. We can debate all we want about Patrick Pearson returning punts. We know he's a pro Bowl corner, so there's a risk factor there. But he loves it, and he often creates big plays, as we just saw there. Yeah, here the end justifies the means, so to speak. So after the punt return touchdown, let's see what their opponents can do with this kickoff. This one taken just inside the 10. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet and go to a spot that they haven't gone before. Time to shake things up a little bit to try and get this offense moving. Okay, so how do you do that? How do you shake things up? You look at what you called before and realize it hasn't worked <laughs> go to somewhere something else. else. And maybe try and find one of those special plays from one of your better players and maybe try and hit something big and get things going in the excitement area. And a catch good, a tie for... And he eventually goes down, but not before reaching the 30-yard line. They give him a gain of 38. There will always be a place for methodically marching the ball downfield. But when you can pick it up in big chunks and strike like that and have explosive play. Looking for Sneed, and it's intercepted. Picked off by the Pro Bowler, Anthony Barr. And his guys are going to get the football at the 28-yard line. And that's a great example of ball skills right there, partner. You and I do a lot of games, and I can't tell you how many guys look to run with the football before they've intercepted it. So that's a nice job of focusing on the task at hand and coming away with the interception. They run. Anderson. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. They run it again with Anderson. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. It's a loss of two, now third down. Two minutes remain here in the first half. We'll come back here right after this. Now Ben on third and long. And he'll have his man. That's Cooper. There he goes, Amari Cooper. And he takes this down deep into Cincinnati territory. And now the Bengal defense here calling a timeout. And they'll be disappointed to have to burn one there after giving up the first down. So after that big play, let's see if they can catch their defense maybe on their heels. From the gun, it's Roethlisberger. This will be caught at about the six. And he is into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Travis Kelsey, a nine-yard touchdown grab. And the Cowboys will extend their lead. Now more. And it's caught. And he gets in. But no one was expecting a fake there, but they add two more onto their lead. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. This will be fielded at the six. They find some open field here. He's at the 40. The 20. 10. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. 
such an electric play, so much fun to watch, and you need all 11 guys in sync for that to be successful, don't you? Without a doubt. That's, that's teamwork, to be able to put it all together, but that play is really probably the most exciting 10 seconds in football. So now the other return teams out there as they'll try to duplicate what they just saw. This is taken at the three. And he'll get it up to about the 26-yard line just across the 25. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And right now they're saying, hey, let's keep this going. Two drives, two touchdowns. Yeah, can't ask for a better start than that, can you? I mean, this is the way you practice it. This is the way you rehearse it. But right now, the play calling, they're locked in really well. Open now to get back in the end zone on this fourth possession. Play action. It's Roethlisberger. Going deep for Moncrief. And that's caught at the 25. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. Dante Moncrief, 74 yards. And the Cowboys are able to show off their quick strike ability. He missed one earlier, remember, but this time he gets it to go. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And a good effort on the return there. Gets him across the 30 to the 33-yard line. Cincinnati now ready to take the field. And in enemy territory last time through the interception. We'll see what they do on this drive. Can't wait to see how it alters what they decide to do in play calling. Do they continue to throw the ball? Do they want to lean more on the running game? It'll be an interesting sequence of plays that they get coming up. Does it often affect the play calling with the interception? How much does that change what you do? I think it does depending on why the interception was thrown. Sometimes it's just a matter of the defense made a great play, so you continue to come back. But if it's on you, if the offense just doesn't have the confidence, if they're a little bit shaky, maybe try and take the pressure off and run the ball a little bit. I know he wants to get his team back in the game, but a 50-50 ball right there that maybe was a little questionable. Yeah, he's pretty lucky to get that one back. I think that sometimes these quarterbacks play with a lot of confidence that borders on arrogance, and that can put your team in some dutch. Yeah, especially maybe want to look at some safer routes after the interception he had that ended their last drive. Third down, Cousins going for the deep ball. So they took a shot there on third down, couldn't get it. Now it's fourth. Fans do love the long ball, don't they? And he already found his guy once. Tried to give him another chance there, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Couldn't connect, but as you alluded to, he does have that touchdown from earlier, trying to keep him in the rhythm. to throw for it on four. This is caught. It's Cooks. And he gets this one all the way down inside the 15, just shy of the 10. That one goes for 34 yards. And it'll give the Bengals a first down. They go play action here on first down. This is caught. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. Tyler Eifert, a 12-yard touchdown grab. And the Bengals have got it back to a one-score game. And he knocks it through. No back out now to kick this one away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll take it up past the 25 to the 26-yard line. And now Dallas gets set to take the field. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively, they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They start the drive with Anderson. Space to maneuver at the 40. C.J. Anderson past the 20. 10, touchdown, Cowboys! C.J. Anderson. 
Madison in the final seconds of the first half. And the Cowboys are able to show off their quick strike ability. And that's a lead that excites a team as they head into the half. Good way to finish things off. Yeah, able to extend that lead, and you always say it, that can totally change the complexion of half number two. Yeah, it changes your morale, changes your outlook. But even before that, let's see if they decide to kind of squib kick or what they're going to do on the kickoff because you don't want to give up a big play right before the half ends. Good point. This will be fielded at the six. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. And out now, here come the Bengals. And we're going to get a timeout with two seconds remaining in the second quarter. And from this spot in the field with the clock where it's at, you think we're just going to see a knee and that's it? And I think in this situation, that's the proper play. But we do know there's some risk takers out there that may want to take one more shot before the clock runs out. So we've reached halftime in a wild first half. We'll take a minute to catch our breath as we will send you eastward to Orlando and Larry Ridley. He's standing by with our EA Sports halftime report. Take it away, Larry. So both teams have their marching orders, and we'll get going again here in quarter number three. And the Cowboys are able to recover. A very interesting call and one that backfires. I know they're losing Charles, but boy, to start the second half with the onside kick, risky.